Sunny. I'm Caitlin. And we ordered a Rainbow Roosters package and now it's finally here. And these awesome books that came in a different package. But they're for the same Egypt units. So, um, Kayla's going to explain her book and I'm going to explain mine. So, this book is written by David Long and illustrated by Harry Bloom and it's called Egypt Magnifier. And it comes with a magnifying glass so we can look uh, so we can find all the things that it says to find on each page. And I like this book because it gives me a little bit of challenge to find out what I need to learn about Egypt. And I like that book because it gives us facts about Egypt and it helps us learn more about Egypt. And this book is You Wouldn't Want to Be an Egypt a Pyramid, a pyramid Builder. Builder. And it's Ill written by J. K. Lyme? Well, I can't really. I can't read, read it. Read it. But, but it it's illustrated by David Atram. David At Adam. And um, it's pretty funny. And it has like this map. And what I like about this book is that it's. I like the title, and it also helps me learn more about Egypt. And it has really funny illustrations. Yeah, like here. It says, next up for Pyramid Duty, maybe they'll take the boys. And now we're going to open the Rainbow Research. one of the books. It is The Door in the Wall. Is this what I, I think know. it is? And this is a paper thing. It's papyrus. And here are some papyrus. Papyrus paper. So we can make our own papyrus. Yep. Um, papyrus is the paper that Egypt that Egypt used. It's kind of like a paper, but it's I think a little bit thicker or thin. Yeah. Um, and uh, and it's it's what they use to write like the language and what they use in schools for the rich kids. Oh, they paint on the walls. Yeah. And here is paint your own papyrus. So you can paint on the papyrus that's already and here. And this. The papyrus is this yellowish cream thing, and it's actually thicker than normal paper, so it's... And I'm really excited to use it for the Egypt unit. Make your own papyrus kit. The papyrus plant, which grows along the Nile, was used by the ancient Egyptians to make the world's very first paper. And clothes are two bundles of dried hits and instructions on how to make your very own sheet of papyrus the way Egyptians did thousands of years ago, made in Egypt. And so these are the two papyrus. Uh, it feels kind of like, it doesn't feel like it normal feels, paper. It doesn't all. feel like normal. what paper feels like. I don't think, I don't know how they made that into this. But we're going to learn how to do it in the Egypt unit. And this is a mini sticker book. I think you could put these on the papyrus. Probably not. It says symbols and amulets, ancient Egyptian stickers. So here's the cover. And it says 12 easy to peel self adhesive stickers of symbols and amulets from ancient Egypt. So I think we can, so here's some stickers. It says, so this amulet or symbol is Shen. It, says, it means eternity. And then this one is Sa, it means protection. And then this one 
is died. It means sta stability. And then this one's ka, and it means spirit. And this one's take jet, and it means where welfare. And the last one is ank ank. It means life. And so they have a lot more of symbols. But we're gonna be using these in the H. And then the Egypt. last, the two last things I found. Well, this is the last um thing I found in the box. I think this is a board game. It oh. is ancient mummy. Oh, I know what it is. It says here in the bag. It's like one of those things that you can dig to find the mummy. So it it has like a little tomb thing, and inside the in, inside like the tomb thing, there the there is the like coffin thing. And there's, you need to like open it and you need a dig to find it. And, and then there's the, other stuff. The thing that I never expected is that there's another side, another box inside the big box. So Can I open this one? This is a pink guide. Rams is two. Can I pick jar? What is this? An art in an art in history repli replica of an ancient ancient Egypt can pick jar. So I think we can make the can pick jar. And no, you can paint the can pick jar. And here is the jar. Uh, Oh, it's an inside. Okay. Yeah, oh, you can paint. Actually, it's great. Oh, that's a yeah. So you can paint the canopy jar. Okay. Is, is there something else in there? It's actually pretty cool. So what comes inside? We're gonna have lots of fun painting this. Is some paint. So uh, you can't really see the other color. There's like a lot. There's like three. I think. I pages. don't know what this is. A paintbrush. I don't know what these. It's a paintbrush are. and sponges. sponges. And two plates. to make it look like that. And two plates. And two. We're plates. gonna have lots of fun painting this because we both love art. So. And also make paint. Yeah. Yeah. And we're also gonna have lots of fun painting the papyrus and making the papyrus and then and digging for the Egyptian mummy and reading all these other books and for the symbols and amulets. So and we might make a video of us doing the mummy, um, this. The um, Egyptian mummy. Oh, and painting the papyrus and the... So we might make a video of all of them. <laughs> so this is everything we got in order. Um, and these are the things that we're gonna be using for our Egyptian unit, unit study. study. For, and for our homeschool. And we're going to be posting a lot of videos on all of the projects that we're going to be doing papyrus making and paint on papyrus. And even the mummy project. And we'll also be making a video of these painting. And you guys didn't really get a good look at the colors, so I'm going to be showing them. There's these are the sponges and the papers. There's a light blue, a brown, and this black. Yeah. And black. Oh, you're good. Yeah. And we, we got, got all, all this material at Rainbow Resources. Resource. So we hope you guys liked this video, and if you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the post notifications so you'll be notified every single time we post a new video. And we hope you guys like this video. Thank you!